All right. So Jason agreed to let me do a quick lightning talk. I'm going to take at least five minutes. It might bleed into like seven. Um, if it goes too long, so I'm just like throw stuff at me. Um, so my name is Josh. I work for a company called Wombat Security. They got acquired recently by a company called Proofpoint, but I've not met anyone from Proofpoint yet, so I feel more of a Wombat. Uh, we, my team, it's me and four other developers, we maintain a small Rails app that sends um, simulated phishing attacks, um, which is a very important difference from real phishing attacks, which are not good things to uh, be sending. So um, it was, the product I work on was part of an acquisition many years ago, and there was only, for a while, there's only like two developers on it. Um, so when I started a little over a year ago, um, we were on Rails 3.2, um, so then we got on Rails 4, and then 4.1, and 4.2, and now we're going to Rails 5. Um, so it had kind of been underloved for a period of time, so there was some kind of tech debt, and like Active Record got a lot better since Rails 3.2. Um, so uh, the work that I've been doing, I've been trying to uh, move slowly and improve things. We'll talk about that a little bit. All right. Um, so I'm going to talk about some profiling, why you should profile, how you could use um, Rack Mini Profiler, I'll read the slide, and then the difference between count and size. So my goal is when you see this, something.count, I want you to be very suspicious. <laughs> Who's seen dot .count? <laughs> <laughs> Who's seen dot .size before? Who knows the difference between the two? I've been in arguments over the difference. <laughs> Great. We might, well, Hopefully no more arguments, but uh, okay, so profiling, um, pretty basic. <clears throat> in software engineering, profiling, or program profile, just kidding. Um, it's why does the app go slow and where? Uh, that's what profiling is. Um, so there's lots of different places your app could be running slow. Oftentimes the places that you think the app is running slow isn't where it actually is running slow. Uh, and it's really important that you spend your employer's hard-earned man hours, or like the money that they're spending, they're giving to you should be spent well on actually improving the things that matter. Um, so uh, other folks sometimes say like, oh, Rails is slow. Our app is sometimes slow. Um, and the temptation is to be like, oh, we'll just like burn the whole thing down and rewrite it in some faster framework. Um, but sometimes Rails isn't slow. Sometimes other developers write it to be slow. Um, so <clears throat> we're going to talk about Rack Mini Profiler. Super easy to use, at least at a, the low level I was using it. Um, so you in your gem file, you can just Pop in the mini profiler gem. Uh, and then once you fire up development, you get uh, this little badge in the corner. Um, that's a number of milliseconds and whatnot. If you click on it, it'll show um, a bunch of calls to different resources. I'm not exactly sure what they're grouped by, but they basically seem to be grouped by the longest and slowest calls, um, is how they're grouped by. So, uh, three really long calls, so you can see three really long get requests, and then the timestamps at the end line up with the length of the main profile thing. This is pretty slow, by the way. It is running in development, so don't, you should get some credit for that. Uh, like, stuff runs slow in development. But, um, so the bottom one, I dug into the slowest uh, call, basically. Um, so if you click it, um, it shows you the resource, and it shows you a bunch of interesting stuff. Um, Query time, you might notice that interesting little thing at the end. This is the number of SQL queries called to generate that. Um, I'm not an expert in a lot of things, but I feel like 52 is a lot of database calls. So um, if you then click into that graph, it'll actually show the individual calls. Like You can just scroll through, and it's basically a stack trace around each thing. Um, some of you should already see some n plus one going on. Um, but as I was looking into it, we have this campaign decorator class that take, we have this graph that fills up with a bunch of campaign data and it all gets shoveled into this campaign decorator. Um, so I started looking through it and then I remembered this article that I'm gonna share a link with y'all later. Um, but it talks about some active record mistakes that slow down your Rails apps. And I was like, oh, this seems relevant. So I opened it up, skimmed back through it, and immediately applied some useful things. Um, so we had this line of code that was template count equals associated templates dot count. Associated templates is an active record collection, and we're just calling dot count on it. We want to know is the answer 0, 1, 2, 3, whatever. Um, and then if you look through the, <coughs> we jump back into the Ruby prof tool, or the Rack Mini <coughs> profiler, sorry, um, you can just see the select count star like all over the place. Um, so I remembered from that article, they talked about the difference between count and size. Uh, 
And it turns out count, every time you call dot count, it goes to the database again and sees what's in there. Um, when you call dot size, if it doesn't have the thing that you're trying to count, it goes to the database and gets it. And then every time you call dot size again, it just looks at the existing collection. Seems like, you're like, okay, you can like read that and be like, all right, we're good to go. Um, it's useful to see it in action. So um, on the top, I have my development log, and on the bottom, I'm kind of testing in a prior session. You can see it associate templates dot count generates another SQL query every single time I call it. If you call dot size, it already has the data, and it doesn't generate another um, query. And then if you go back to dot count, um, it <coughs> generates another query. So dot count, dot size, one's talking to your database all the time, the other one only does it once. Uh, so my understanding is they're interchangeable. <coughs> I, huge thing if you're like, oh, I'm going like, to hotfix this in production. You like burn it down. Don't come talking to me. Um, that's on you. But so I would recommend, when you need to know the count of things, just go for the size. Um, because, so I made that change and like one other super minor change, and then we're down to 33 queries. Still smells a lot like an M plus one, but step in the right direction. Um, then everything else looks improved. There's still tons of removing those not a further more removing those 19 queries also appears to have given also appears to have taken half a, a full half a second off yes. the request time. It's a lot faster. Um, the reason I got onto this whole thing is because we were having database timeouts elsewhere. Like so we're looking through the logs, we're seeing database timeouts, <coughs> we fixed some really low hanging fruit there. Um, and then I was just like, oh what's what else is talking to the database? So I was this is a lot quicker. We have other even lower, believe it or not, even lower hanging performance fruit that would get the whole thing running quicker. Um, but you're right, it does go a lot quicker. So easy win. Um, so what's next? Find the whole, in the whole app in the right place for <coughs> dot count, um, 73 results that I would test. I'm not going to do a global find and replace, but I'm going to almost do a global find and replace. Functionally <laughs> do a global find and replace. Um, and that's it. Um, if you have questions, it's me on Twitter website with like links to the article, I would strongly recommend you guys read it. Like Active Record is an amazing tool. Uh, it's like an amazing knife. Um, and usually like, if you like slice your finger a little bit with a knife, you tend to notice. Um, sometimes in like Active Record, you don't, you've actually kind of like sliced your finger a little bit, but you might not notice. Um, that article does a phenomenal job kind of unpacking all that stuff. Um, so that's it. Any questions? Cool.